Hello everyone, this is Negative Dreamer here to bring you another leather working tutorial. Today I will show you how to make those nice rounded edges on your leather projects. Normally when you use your scissors or knife to cut leather, you're going to get this kind of hard right angle edge. It doesn't look that finished. Um, sometimes you're going to have some little lines from your blade cutting. And also if it's on your skin, it's just not going to feel as nice. We're going to work towards to get this nice rounded edge. And the way to do that is by using a few different tools. Um, the most important one is to get an edger, um, or a bevel, or something as they call it. Today's project, we're going to be using the Craft 2 Pro, Pro Classic Edger Series. Um, these are available at Teddy. They're like their mid-range bevelers. They're very good, last you a very long time, not too hard to sharpen. Uh, and they come in a few different sizes. Um, we're going to be using the size 2 today, which is their middle size. The other size they have is a smaller one, a double zero, and they also have a larger one. Uh, your middle size one here is going to work like your six to nine ounce leather. Your double zero is going to be for your thinner leathers, maybe your like five to one ounce leathers. Anything bigger than nine ounce, you may want to go to the larger size, but we're not going to show it today. Um, you also want a good work surface to work on. As you use this tool, you may scratch what you're working on. So you don't want to be doing this on your table. You don't want to be doing with anything important. I'm going to use the Deluxe Stone Slab from Tandy, but any soft, search, hard surface that you don't mind getting scratched a little bit is fine. You're also finally going to use a something to slick off the edges. Um, I'm going to use the Craft Tool Multi-Size Wood Slicker. I like this because you can do a lot of different sizes of leather here. Um, plus, the back end tapers down, and so it lets you get those really hard to reach spots on your pieces sometimes. They have a lot of curves um, that are concave. This will really help you get in there to get everything right and not just the larger spots. So, the first step is on your item. You want to lay it down on your hard surface and take this tool. Uh, sorry, take this guy since it's a thicker leather. You put it here right in the corner here on the edge where you have a little bit fitting in there and you just bring your tool towards yourself. This is gonna take off kind of the corner of the leather. You move it all the way down and you're gonna get a little bit of come off like, like that. You're gonna throw it away. And you also wanna flip the item over to use the both sides of your leather. So once it's there, put your tool here and slide it right down. So you can see already the difference between the, the hard cut on bevel side and the bevel side. It's already much, much more round, but it's not quite perfect yet. That's where the next step is going to come in. So I just went and I got this piece of leather wet at right in, with regular water. Um, this will help us form the shape better if it's wet. If it's dry, it's really hard to do this. Um, so you take your beveler, you kind of go to the correct size of your leather to where it fits best. And once you're there, you just run it over just like this. And as you can see how smooth it was from the spot that wasn't wasn't rounded yet, you can just go over it. And it's actually best to use two different sizes, usually the smallest one that'll fit in and the one up. This will help get a really nice finished edge. Nice and smooth to your touch. And gives you a much more well-finished product. Plus that hard edge right here. And that's it. Thank you very much. I'll see you next video. If you guys have any questions or would like to see a different tutorial video, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.